Hello. It's a beautiful day to play Battlefield 2. One of my favorite old games. Let's start it up. Using Steam. I know. Oh no, the intros. Okay, so overall, it's not super frustrating to sit through that. But it's not nice to watch five different game engines and a clip of two or three minutes. Well, you don't always have to. Sometimes you don't have an option. Even if you click escape, enter, backspace, space, or the first mouse button, it just won't work. So, Let's see if this is one of those cases. Battlefield 2, if you can skip the intro. I'm gonna press all those buttons repeatedly. EA Games. Challenge everything. I'm clicking. Still clicking. Well. All right. So the only thing that we were able to clip, uh, skip, sorry, was the, uh, the clip actually that they made, which is nice. It's a very long clip. Now with some of these games, say I drag Wolfenstein over here, uh, enemy territory. If I right click it, I can open the file location because it's a game by itself. It's independently installed and running on your computer. Battlefield 2 in this case, I bought it through Steam and you cannot open it like this because Steam made it so you only run the game ID. So let me show you how to get there. We're going to go to Battlefield 2, right click it. If it's not here in your recent game, look it up here. It's going to be somewhere in this list. Like so. We're going to manage, browse local files and you'll be in the directory you can see it here it's steam steam apps common battlefield 2 with all the other games I'm showing all of this so you can also do the same trick with other games i've also done it it practically works with uh, most games mainly because a lot of games use um, wav or mp4 files which you can uh, edit i'm going to show you that right now now what we want to find is those intro files the, the the one that they showed in the start there are a few ways to do that you can simply look up mp4 and see if we can get any source results in this case we didn't also nothing all right now we can look through the files All right, so we have found them and they're big files. This is why we couldn't find them. These are all the files. Um, the code will start in a sequence. Um, <laughs> the, the code will start in a sequence before it starts the game or before you can start. Dice, EA and uh, some of these, we cannot skip them unless we open them with notepad, for example. We press Ctrl A and we delete everything. And we press Ctrl S or save to save, our, save this file. We close it and we do the same for the other ones. This time I'm gonna use notepad plus plus because I feel like it. I'm 
actually saving with Ctrl S so you don't see me click on anything else. Now I'm not going to delete these other ones because I feel they're essential to start the game. Like menu or welcome. Welcome might just be the audio file. Not that important, but this or it might be the background. I, I don't know if it's essential, but why well, take a chance? It's not bothering me. Uh, it's not bothering anyone and it, it won't hold you up. So we're not going to touch those. So we got these three here. Legal, intro, EA and dice. I'm going to try it again and start the game again. Welcome to duty. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, it just starts up like that. Alright, that, that's it. That's how you get the video out of your game. Um, that was the short explanation. If you stick around, I'll show one more example. Let me find a game. Enemy territory, maybe. So, Enemy Territory also has these intro videos. Unlike Steam, we don't have to open it through Steam because it's not to uh, install through Steam. I got it through Splash on the internet. This particular game, we're going to go to the file location and look for any video files. And this is not a really big game, so I, I don't really expect to be looking very long. That might even be it. Just in case, we're going to control X, so we're going to cut it and then save it. Okay. And I'm going to try it again. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Now say it would have went wrong. We went back to the file which I, I left open. You press control V which would get back to cut contact content, obviously. And uh, bingo bango, it's done. Right. So it was both, both a Steam game and a non-Steam game. Uh, it works for many other games. It's also a bug fix for some games. Uh, you have Metro Exodus or Less Light. And sometimes the intro can cause uh, Windows 10 or or people that are running on Windows 10, the computer to crash. And for me personally, this was a fix to actually make the game work again. Um, I hope this helps you too. And uh, you don't <laughs> waste any more time on these intros. With all respect, of course, to the game engines and to the nice intros they made. But in the end, we will just want to play the game right. Hope you have fun and have a good day.